Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. This is Jamai Plays. I wanted to share information or share some gameplay about a game that I've been hopelessly addicted to for the last couple days, at least a week. Plus, it's called Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Um, it's based on the multiplayer Deep Rock Galactic game that's been a hit for years now, but I didn't get into it. Um, I bought the game, but I don't know, I've just not been able to play it as much, but Deep Rock, Survi uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor has been very accessible, Sing single player, kind of like a roguelike where you dive into mines and shoot bugs and stuff, and it has been absolutely a joy to play. And yeah, I've been trying my best to beat back the bugs and destroying the Dreadnought. But, I don't know, I haven't been very successful, but when I have been successful, it's been quite uh, satisfying. So yeah, I wanted to do a run um, today. Um, there are three maps, um, each one being a bit more difficult. Um, the Crystalline Caverns, Magma Core, and Hollow Bow. Or Hollow Bow. Um, I don't know, let's, let's, let's keep it simple today. Yeah, and just lovely do... crystals today. Crystalline Caverns level 2, just so you know, like my audience and maybe people coming in can get a feel for this type of game. I don't usually play these types of, um, I think they call them Bullet Heaven or something like that games. Um, but mm, I don't know, this one has just two? been quite enjoyable. Um, my favorite class is by far the Engineer. Um, but I've had most success when I'm playing as the Scout, if I'm completely honest. I do not like the gunner, I guess that's why it's less than level 10. Um, but I am not against revisiting the gunner in the future, but the playstyle as it is now is not my cup of tea. And I like to have fun with the driller from time to time. I've unlocked a bunch of subclasses, as you can see I'm level 23 over here. Um, which took me more than a week of playing maybe 3 or 4 hours. Um, maybe an average of two hours a day to get to. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to take my favorite class for a spin, the engineer um, and the uh, uh, maintenance worker, which is uh, the class that is unlocked by default for everyone. I've played it enough to unlock the tinkerer and the demo demolitionist, but don't worry about that now. Like Let's just start with, with the... Find and eliminate the dreadnought. Remember, you're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the drop part if you fail. All right, so the, the, the um... Oh my God, it's difficult to play and commentate. <laughs> the goal of this game is to mine as many resources as you can, um, kill many bugs. I'm raring uh, to try this out. And then once you get to level five, you fight the big bad dreadnought bug person. Well, not person, but you know what I mean. Um, what I like to do, I like to kind of get a feel for it on the first stage because it's the easiest level. And then, depending on how my run is going, I like to focus on different things. I am very addicted to my turret. I love my turrets very much. This is a bad roll. Um, more damage, I guess. Um, but yeah. You level up by killing bugs or mining resources. This red rock is, oh my God. Oh my God, there's a bug up my, oh. This white sub um, red substance called Nitro. You can also mine gold, go fire it. And every now and again through the mission, different things happen that you kind of unlock like supply drops. Oh my God, I'm not playing very well while I'm trying to record this. Pod so I've got a supply pod, which gives me three options. I can increase my fire rate and reload speed when standing still. I can increase my damage by 1% for every 5 gold. Or I can collect red sugar, increasing my max HP by 2. Red sugar is kind of like a glowing red sugar that heals me. Seeing that I'm playing on hazard 2 and i'm using the engineer i'm gonna go with the pop-up tripod pick one of these. so these kind of decisions yeah, will, be affect, will affect your um you open. affect be affect oh, 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 oh no 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 will be affected depending on the class that you're playing 
the scene that I'm playing the engineer and I have to kind of stand still in order to drop my turrets. Um, using that um, unlock was the better option for me. Again, because I'm using this particular engineer, I have, what do you say, better syn synchronization. I think better with using constructs. So each kind of weapon has um, different tags. This is a drone, it does electrical damage, lasting, construct, heavy beam, plasma. All of this didn't make sense to me in the beginning, if I'm completely honest. But seeing that I'm using the engineer, I'm going to go hard on constructs. And I do like the drone. I never pass up so let's Thunderbird. Drone. The drone kind of hovers around you and kind of zaps the bugs as you fly around and I like it and different bugs also have like different um, characteristics about them um, let's go with critical chance like those bugs with the yellow things bursting out of them um, always kind of explode and in higher difficulties I'm learning how to work. use those explodables to my advantage um usually i'd go for this but because again most of my weapons are affected by lifetime that's a tag probably doesn't make sense now i prefer to get the rare one so you can scroll over these unlocks i discovered this maybe 10 hours in <laughs> and it tells you what what uh what do you call it weapon is affected so, for example, if I scroll over Apply Dwarf Tape, it affects my turret and my drones. Ooh, I'm gonna take and there we go. I'm just kind of trying to pick up some of this XP before the big boy um, spawns. I saw some Nitra over here, so I'm just kind of circling around, fighting the mob so I can mine. Alright, so I've got something uncommon 15% reload speed for my this drone. I'm gonna take best. that. I think I saw. And here comes the big boy. So every stage, if once you've killed enough bugs, an elite will spawn. And basically, once you kill that elite, you move on to the next level. Right now, I'm just trying to get some of this gold if they would only allow me to. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm gonna get clapped. But it's fine. Killing this elite. Grabbing some more gold. Get the gold. And then I'm out of there. Um, we got reload speed on the drone or critical damage. To try this out. Build up my drone. So now that I've killed the elite. The drop pod is prepped and ready. Get on it before it leaves. I could go with either of these. I'm gonna go with my turret. These are the explosive boys. Try to avoid them. Ooh, a magnet. This is something that's quite rare. That I think like randomly spawns depending on uh, the level or whatever. I've only seen like one magnet in each of my runs. I kind of didn't want to get it in level one, but I'll take it. Ah, 40% status effect. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take this only because maybe some of the other things that I unlock in the future will be status affecting weapons. This will help me work harder. Ah, uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Two legendaries are in a row. I'm going to go gonna with take. this. Then I just kind of want to grab a little bit more of this XP. Get one more level. It's a little extra. I'm powering up my drone. Onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. Just kind of stand here and form them a bit is a strategy that I've been using. And then I get on. Taking you to stage two. 14 levels on the first level. I did not complete the side quest, but it's fine. I've, I've stopped stressing about the side quests, to be honest. All right, so here I am. I've got two weapons, the turret and the electrical drone. Both of them are level four. You get upgrades for your weapons at level six, 12 and 18. I've seen some people that play that just focus on one weapon to get it to 18. I try to have a more balanced approach. And depending on which weapon I'm feeling I'm getting the most use out of, from around the third or fourth level, I, I then focus in on that one. So right now, I'm just going to be focusing on both of my weapons. 
So, um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna overclock the drone. Like and I'm gonna ask for Dragon one extra drone. And then I'm gonna upgrade my move speed. You don't see these every day. And my status Noise effect damage. And I'll just keep it there for now. You know the drill, Miner. Fulfill your objectives and let's get out of here. Alright, there's these dumb healies over here. I'm gonna grab it. I'll still see After a loot this, bug. I'm gonna pop. Sick to the core of glyphic stink. And then I'm getting And so I'm just kinda rude. looking around for resources that I can um grab. I, I like to pop bugs, them loot bugs. So proud about it. Get a little resources. You need these kind of items for progression. So I try to grab them whenever I can, but I don't stress myself out about it too much. Try to mine as much of this gold as possible. A big swarm is approaching. Oh. Ow. Alright, alright. So what I like to do with the um What do you call it? Ah, he's stabbing me! Oh the drop point is too rocky, so please clear it out. That's all you got so the engineer is kind of trying to funnel them in the direction that I want them to go. And then obliterate them. Alright, so here we have another level up. I'm at level 15, which means I get to choose a third weapon. None of these weapons are constructs. And again, you can choose how you want to do it. And then... Um, you know, choose depending on your your character. Again, I'm a uh, engineer, so I want it to be constructs. I still haven't gotten a construct, which is bad. So I'm going to reroll one more time. And finally, I've gotten a construct. It's not one that I have leveled up, but I know that it's one that's quite powerful. I'm probably not going to be focusing on it, but I'm going to choose the shock fence. Oh, give me those sappy things. Alrighty, now that I have chosen the ugly son of a shock bitch. fence, the shock fence is kind of like an item you place on the ground, and then there's like a sh like a shocky thing that comes between, like a Tesla coil type thing. It's quite cool. Alright, I've got another supply pod. I can get a nitro scanner, FRZ shield belt, or gold tip bullets. Again, what class am I playing? Engineer. What am I focus focusing on? Um, constructs. Which one of these would sync best with my build, right? First one, get a small chance to find nitro whenever mining any rock. Knock back and slow enemies when you take damage for 30 seconds, or increase the damage done by 1% for every 5 gold you have. <laughs> Usually, I'd go for the gold tip bullets. Um, I usually don't go for the nitro scanner unless I'm using the driller, which mines a lot. But I've found, the longer I play this game again, that having a knockback that kind of clears enemies out of the way the first time you take damage is quite powerful. Because there will be times when you have to kind of run into the middle of enemies. So, I'm going to take the knockback shield belt. I want it! Alright, they're kind of bunching up a bit, so I'm going to try to use these explodey guys to explode everyone together. I'm kind of like, tightening them around, easing them into exploding themselves. Oh, I'm going to overclock my turret. It got, I've got two options, add one extra charges, which are kind of these little pips down at the bottom. Or, turrets explode when they are removed. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. One thing I've realized in this game is that explosions, aka AOE damage, quite powerful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead into that a bit. All right, let's see if we can work on the side quest a bit. Swarm detected. Get ready. Got a swarm incoming. I'm gonna mine some of this. Gold. Mind some of these healthy things. And then I'm out of there. Don't want to stick around. Is this a dead end? Please don't be a dead end. Please, game, don't do this to me. Alright. Oh, see? This epic lifetime thing again. When you scroll over it, you see which weapons it affects. So again, I'm using an engineer. 
I'm using constructs and constructs basic lifetime basically means how long it lasts when you put when you put when you put it down. Ooh. I hope this isn't a dead end. Okay, it isn't a dead end. Oof. I'm just gonna, you know, try to kite them. I'm playing like the Pied Piper of bugs. Yeah. Ease them into exploding. Uh, uh, I see some items over here. The big boy just spawned and he's coming at me. I'm just gonna get out of there. Grab some of this gold on my way. Before he slashes me! See? That knockback that I got? So freaking powerful. Oh my god, my DPS is insane. Oh, a magnet! Holy shit, a magnet! Two magnets in a row? Oh my god, the, the first video I record, I get freaking two magnets. And I've been playing again for dozens of hours, and I don't think I've got two magnets in a row. But anyway, I've got a magnet, which is perfect timing. I want some more move speed, so I'm a little bit like a ninja. Um, two of my weapons are electrical, so I'm gonna do that. And then, you know, I'm gonna make my way to the drop pod, but I noticed that I might be able to finish this quest. Oh forward. my god, that Achieve was your objective in record time. So I'm just kind of, you know, chill around. Get your ass moving, minor. Kill a few extra bugs, grab a little extra experience, and then the I'm out of there. Completed. Taking you to stage three. Well done. Stage two completed. Taking you to stage three. Well done. All right. So what are my options? I've kind of got low resources. Got a decent amount of gold, but not much nitro. And again, looking at my weapons, electrical damage could be helpful to me. Also, lifetime. Um, so I'm gonna grab these I two. Can't get enough of this rare stuff. As for my nitro, I am going. I have two options. I can get the drone to level nine, or I can increase the fire rate on my turrets. And I love Feels my turrets. <laughs> A little bit more than I love my drones. There's beasties to shoot and work to All be right. done. Get to it, miner. So we're now at level three, which means things will get a little bit harder. Um, again, I'm trying to funnel the, the, the bugs into an area that I can destroy them easily. If I want them to come through there. Um, we've got a few of them that will come through here. Grab this nitro. You know, just kind of circle around, grab a little of these heals. Oh, I needed that. I'm glad I upgraded my move speed. I feel very ninja like. Drop my turrets. So it makes the way the for me. A, life. a big swarm is approaching. A big swarm is approaching is good so i want them to all oh my god these flying boys are annoying i want them to all to bundle up and come after me and then i'm out of there no dropping my turret see this is a freaking kill area but i gotta be careful because they're coming at me from that angle as well so i just want to get them funneled um you know what I think I'm gonna go for my... Alright, fine. This I'm gonna upgrade it. Usually I'd go for the turret there even though it's not a... Not the better colored upgrade. But now that I've got them all funneled, I'm gonna start working on these exploding boys. And once they go boom, everything goes boom. Just kind of sneak in and grab all this XP. And then we're off. Alright, I've got my fourth and last weapon. And we've got a choice of two constructs, right? We got... I'm not even paying attention to the stubby. I love you, stubby, but I'm not I'm not looking to use you right now. We got two options. We got the flamethrower, basically, or the another set of drones, which are actually ice damage. Ice is really powerful in this game. It might be my favorite of the... The effects that you can apply to enemies but i i do love these freaking sentinels that, that have that are flamethrowers i'm gonna go with 
that. This is gonna solve all my problems. So, again, I'm playing the engineer. So when I stop to drop my turret, I will also drop a pylon and I will also drop a freaking flamethrower. Now that I have three weapons that does um, status effect damage, which is acid, electric, and fire, I'm gonna choose That's the one. offensive chemistry. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. We got a storm coming for me. But I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all. Oh, maybe I'm a little scared. But don't tell anyone. One down. All right, so I'm gonna grab these. Landing zone ready. Impact wow. imminent. What a shot. All right. What are my choices? We got small chance of finding goal, exploding a ring of fire, dealing and burning fire damage to nearby enemies or gain a temporary move speed buff when standing still plus five percent for three seconds stacks up to five times again if i was using the driller or some other um dwarf that had like a lot of drilling um mining power ups i'd probably go with this one i already have a very good um belt so i'm not gonna go for this one but i'm using the engineer i stop a lot I I'm gonna choose the bubbly juice. All right, so now that I have my turret up, my drone up, I'm gonna start working on I'll my flamethrower. Yes, yes, explode! Ow, that's cheating. I'm just gonna like come around here at the back, push that one to explode, and then run through here. Ooh, can't believe I made that. Dial it in. Alright, so each time I stop, I drop a flamethrower, I want them all to come at me, come at me. Oh shit. Yeah, see? Explodey boys, man. Explodey boys are amazing. Ah, plus 6% move speed, but I'm gonna go with my flamethrower turret that I'm building up. Uh, let's reload my drones faster. Think you could kill me? Well, think again. And now the big boy is out. I'm gonna grab some of this gold if I can, and then I'm gonna circle around. Oh shit! Look at my health. I was not paying attention to my health. And now good, I'm gonna overclock better. my flamethrower. Turrets follow you around. Turrets explode when they're removed. I think I like flamethrowers following me around. So now when I stop to deploy a flamethrower, they are on little threads that literally follow me around. Now that I've got my flamethrower up to level 6, I'm going to go back to focusing on my Don't turret. If I do. Try to get my turret to level 12. Oh my god, I'm melting this guy. Mr. Bug, you're having a bad day. Satisfied. The drop pod is arriving. All right. Get moving. It won't another around. drop pod. Just try to grab some of this XP while I'm running for my life. This one suits me best. Focusing on my turret. What decides to explode. Grabbing some of these resources while I'm here. Try not to be overwhelmed by these bombs. The drop pod will head out momentarily. I'm just gonna chill here farm as much XP as I can and then whew, that was a little bit close <laughs> alright stage 4 now it's getting dicey still I'm still not good at getting a lot of resources but I'm satisfied I've got my turret at level 10 my drone at level 8 and these three weapons are the ones I'm focusing on so if I get this one I can overclock my drone another time and i think i'm gonna do that gorgeous gun for a gorgeous dwarf all right so the turrets will follow you around or damage the uh, they change their damage to plasma oh my god i'm gonna take the plasma rock and stone i can add plus 10 percent damage to all my weapons that sounds amazing i'm gonna take that I'll take it and i think i'm good for now let's go level four that's work to be done. Up and Alright, let's try to find some red sugar to get my health back up. That this is gonna is be nice to my primary target right now. 
Uh, and there we have some red sugar and some gold. Much so see, now. as the engineer, I like this. When I'm mining and my back is turned to them and there's no way they can sneak upon me because my shit is just melting their faces. Oh, I love this. This is so satisfying when I'm playing as the, the engineer. So I just kind of pop myself down here, drop a few more of my shit, and then I then go on, go on to mining. I don't want to break through yet. I just kind of want to tease them into like my kill zone. Oh. Ow. That one's kind of... Oh my god, they're spitting at me. Just like a Once I tree. see another swarm is coming. coming. Oh. Alright, I think I'm gonna focus a little bit on the flamethrower. Once I see the, the swarm coming around. Coming around. Ow, ow. Stop that. You stop that right now. Then I kind of break through here and escape. You know, but they've already kind of walked around that way. <laughs> but now I've got this entire section of the map to myself. And look, some heelsies. So let's try to grab these real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Mine faster. Mine faster. Mine faster. Oh shit, they're fast. Grab it, grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Holy shit. Well done, you got them all. Alright, alright. Let's stay calm. It's getting a little spicy. Explode these explodey boys. Alright, let's focus That's on my harder, turret some fast. more. Swarm is heading your way. Load up. Got another swarm heading my way. I'm kind of backed up into a corner. I want to stay here as long as I can. So that all these swarms... Oh, come around and then I make a rough point. Alright, I'm running out of map. That is bad. I'm gonna cut down here, grab this health, yeah. and make my escape. For the supply pod to land. And look, the supply pod down. is dropping where I was headed. For once, the supply pod drops where I wanted to drop. Swarm just gonna... Get oh, ready. Shit. Be with you I need to grab this supply pod really quick before I become overwhelmed. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, supply pod. Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Oh! Holy shit. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh. Oh. I don't know how I survived that. I repeat, I do not know how I survived that. But I'm hurting. So, I'm gonna grab some sugar. Try to get my health back up. Oh, try to make my way around. Focusing on my... Alright, we've got the big boy. I'm gonna grab some of this XP. As much of it as I can. Um, well, I'm gonna get I'm some more luck. Vision. And that's how this game is, man. Sometimes you've got some close calls and you just gotta take a direction and run. <laughs> you gotta choose a direction and just run. Hell yes. Get some more reload speed. Right now I'm just focusing on grabbing as much XP as I can. Get myself leveled up. I also need to heal. I'm gonna go with this. So I'm just kind of hiding. Drop pod has arrived. Get there before Ooh. the timer runs out. Drop pod it's getting chaotic. Getting chaotic. I'm running. Ow. Dude just stabbed me in the rear. Don't want to be greedy. I'm just gonna grab, drop my Get stuff here. Liner. The drop pod will head out momentarily. Arm some 8 XP. And then I'm out Excellent of here. Work, miner. Stage complete. Onwards to stage 5. Heading into stage 5, which is the final stage. I'm level 40. To be honest, I feel like I'm a little under-leveled. But I will make it work. I've only got 300, uh, 220 HP. So, I'm going to take Give some HP. Then, I'm going to heal. That's the stuff! And then I'm going to take some damage on my flame turret. And I have no other choice and I have to spend my resources. So I'm going to take some more damage on my Tesla coils. 
And there we go. Final stage. This is it. Now or never. Destroy the cocoons and take out the dreadnought. Good luck, miner. I feel vitalized. Right now, I don't need to mine many of this stuff. Or I'll, I guess you can still mine for XP. But to be honest, it might be a bad strategy. But I usually don't focus on mining in the final section of so right now I'm trying to get my turret to level 18 so I can get my final overclock for it. But I also like to go ahead and seek out the cocoons and kind of get started on them early. Get them following me, joining in with the storm. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, that belt is so powerful, man. Let me cut through here quickly, excuse me, this is a warmer. And then, you know, just kind of kite. Kite, 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 and burn. Kite and burn. Yeah. And I'll go back now for a little of this XP. Drop my flamethrowers, burn the shit out of them, because I'm not giving up on that XP. Now that I've burned the shit out of them, grab that XP. Turn around, okay. Now, I'm gonna get my Just what I needed. turret to level 18. I'm gonna grab my extra, my last overclock. Two options. I really am not a fan of charges, but I found that plus 150% fire rate at the cost of just minus 15 accuracy is freaking OP. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And I've got like plasma. Ooh. It's, it's insane. So I'm just gonna go here and wake up this little fellow. Found some nitro. Have him follow me and melt his face while he does that. Can you imagine someone wakes you up and just starts melting your face? Yo, these Tesla coils are quite powerful. I really need to unlock the overclock for them. Supply pod prepped and ready, miner. We need you All to right. clean up the landing zone. Let's try to grab that final supply drop quickly before we are overwhelmed. Ow. I hate enemies that spit. They're the worst. I hate them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm doing good DPS. Just gotta watch out for spitting enemies. Oh, plus 70 max HP. Plus two life regen. I'm not really happy unless my health is like 300. This takes me over 300. Ha 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 ha! Alright, so right now I'm just hunting down the other cocoons. Trying to get this over with quickly. Can I get this one to level 12 before the boss spawns? I will try. Alright, let's wake this guy up. Ow. Mine some of this green stuff. Got it. You know, just kind of kite him around. Kite, 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 kite. Good, good, good. Oh, there's some health over here. Do I want to go back for that XP? Okay, no. I will not be greedy. Or am I not going to be greedy? Okay, I'm greedy. I'm going back for it. I don't want to kite them. Yeah, come on, come to me, come to me. No. Try to kill me. Yeah, follow me around here. Oh, a magnet! Oh, sweet magnet! Oh, ho, 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 ho. <sighs> Do I think I have enough XP? I'm not XP, HP. Uh, but lifetime affects all my weapons, though. I think I'm gonna go with lifetime, guys. I can't lifetime. get enough of this rare stuff. Then I'm gonna try I to get this to level 12. Stronger. Oh, that magnet saved my life. I just need to level up my flamethrower one more level. One more level game. Come on. Look at these bugs. Look how many of them. I'm just melting their faces because I've got them in a choke point. I just want them to slowly come through and melt. 
Okay, the big boy is about to spawn. I've got to be careful. Oh, I, I got it to level 12. I got it to level 12. So turrets explode when they are removed or plus one beams. I have an extra beam, please. All right, now that the big boy is going to spawn, I want to kind of get myself out of there into an open area so I can dodge his jumps like that. Oh, oh my god, he tapped me. No, no, no. Come on, get him. Melt him, melt him, melt him. It's fine. I'm melting his HP. We got this. Just need to kite him. Drop your shit. Kite him. Kite him. Kite him. Oh, we got it. Where is it going to spawn? Oh, this is a good run, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Congratulations. That's it. One less dreadnought. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Management Hazard 2. Regards. Management sends their regards. At the end, you kind of get a um, screen, crystalline caverns, Hazard Level 2, as I said. You can see how your weapons did. See, my OG turrets. I can never leave home without them. And I love me the flamethrower. I got the flamethrower last, but it also did over a thousand damage per second as well quite powerful turret plus flamethrower magnificent the drone kind of underperformed i think so i i think i might be falling out of love with the drone but yeah if you've watched this far thank you for watching this is deep rock galactic survivor I'm not a very, let's say, pro level or high level player, but I like to have fun with it. Um, if you like this content, please feel free to subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, tell me what your thoughts are. Are you playing Deep Rock Galactic Survivor? Are you think about, thinking about playing it? Uh, let me know. I also stream over on Twitch, so check, the, check out the description to see where you can find me. This is Jamai Plays. Thank you for watching.